Well, that is something you don't see every day. A plane in the middle of a local roadway. Tonight, there's an investigation into what happened. Good evening, everyone. I'm Chris O'Connell. That plane had to make an emergency landing. Good news, no one was injured. Bad news, it knocked out power to a bunch of homes on a really hot day. This all happening in Mercer County, Joanne. A very wild scene there. It certainly was when we arrived. And of course, Chris, it could have been so much worse. But this pilot managed to bring that small aircraft down right here on Sharon Road. Fortunately, he missed the nearby homes. Fortunately, there were no cars on this roadway. Still, nearby residents were pretty shaken up. We've lived here for 50 years plus. And planes go, like, take off, land all the time. Yeah. We're used to that. But not this. Just a couple hundred feet from their driveway and house, a single-engine plane right in the middle of the intersection of Sharon and Gordon Roads in Robbinsville. Elaine texted me and said, there's a plane right by in front of your house. There's all these cars. And, like, you have to come in from the other way. Police say the Piper four-seat aircraft had just taken off from Robbinsville Airport, about a mile from the crash site. We live about, what, maybe a 1,000 feet from here, and our power went out. And uh, shortly after, I started getting information that there was a plane wreck. So we walked down here, and we discovered this plane in the road. The plane apparently clipped power lines as it came down. At one point, more than 100 homes were without electricity. They told us that the plane had just taken off and had engine failure, and he, he negotiated through this, this mess of wires somehow. Somehow he came through it and spun around, and he landed here in the road. Police say the 47-year-old pilot suffered minor injuries. Bill Werfel says the airport has gotten busier through the years, and he's concerned about their safety. I'm surprised it took this long to happen. Why? Um, they're, they're crazy. They fly over the houses, they, they, and they don't go nowhere. They, they take off, and then they fly around and buzz over your house and then land. So that privately owned airport is just a mile down the road. Again, everyone is saying lucky that there was no one in the roadway when the plane came down and the plane missed these nearby homes. The FAA is, of course, investigating. Tonight we're live in Robbinsville, Mercer County. I'm Joanne Pileggi, Fox 29 News. Back to you.